Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 as Poland and we're currently at peace trying to recover our manpower and it's working quite well we already have 4,000 men um, so we're gonna have to uh, build up our men wow we can build so many troops so we definitely have to build up uh, all the way to our force limit um, that's gonna take a while that's really gonna take a while and uh, while we do this we probably wanna um, yeah tech up military right now I guess no <sighs> Again, I would love to do it. Um, the problem is, I'd rather wait because it, storing up more points is always good. I don't need. I'm not that war right now, so there's no reason to check up. Um, we're not gonna have any rebels, so I might as well just sit around here. And we now finally have enough points to do this. So very good. We have production efficiency, uh, province war score cost, and also lowered impact on stability from diplomatic actions. So once this uh, diplomat is back, thank you, we can now domestic marriage in. Ah, oh, okay, still married to him, anyways. So yeah, we can now revoke the march status, and um, again, it, it doesn't say we lose stability for this because we have diplomatic uh, ideas. So yeah, revoke the march status. We did not lose stability, but this guy hates our guts now. Um, so that's unfortunate. But, oh well. So we can annex him later on. And we should probably gear towards uh, attacking Ottomans. Mm, Naples and Bohemia will join us. We do not have a Kaz's belly. Which is a little bit of a problem. And we might want to get this guy as a vassal here. Royal marriage is not possible. Improve relations. Let's try that. Yeah, why not? And what are the number one military countries here? So Austria has the most troops. Um, France is afterwards. Then the Ottomans, Mamluks, Hungary, Castile, Novgorod. What? Novgorod. Morocco, Karakoinlu, Nogai, Lithuania, Sweden, Naples. Yeah. We have less troops than the Hansa. This is just frustrating. So frustrating. We're so weak. We need to build up some army. We, we have slowly getting the manpower back. So yeah, definitely do that. Um, let's actually build... 1, 2, 3, 4 infantry. And uh, 2 knights. We don't have enough manpower. Okay, never mind. One more knight. We have to remember. One more knight relations with Sweden it's going so quickly I don't know what to do with my diplomats don't know what to do you're supposed to never have idle diplomats but ugh. don't know what I can do with these guys can only improve relations so much I could claim more stuff I should probably do that yeah fabricate a claim on Zemplin I guess I'll have to do this and we're gaining 200 manpower every month every turn very good. Army tradition, our advisor, and the papal sanction of the war. Very cool. So one more horse, please. Eastern Knights. We could also, uh, once we tech up, we can get cannons. So we definitely should do that. Um, so once you have enough morale to move in, I'm going to have you move in there. Oh my god. So many pop-ups. Okay, my diplomat has arrived. Uh, what's this? Gain money or not? Yeah, gain money. Of course. England and Castile white peace. A revolt. Not in my country. And Brittany and England white peace. Okay, so I'm not going to have to deal with that. That's Lithuania's. They're actually even attacking into their army. Very good. Um... I wanted to disable one of the messages, but I clicked it away. Tax income loss. Oh, we had that? So now we should get even more money. Let's see, next month we should get more money significantly. Please? So 9.4 9 is what we're making right now. So it should be, well, that's actually... We don't have, we don't make more money, I thought. That's odd. Whatever. Get our men together over here. And let's build some buildings, shall we? We can only build town halls. 
but I think that's better than nothing. Since we have the cash, might as well build them. Yeah, but I'm not gonna go for eight cents. That's not enough. <laughs> that's just not enough. I need double digits. And Hungary declared war. And we're taking attrition now. So let's uh, go over here. Don't know why it, it splits up these guys so terribly. 7253. Why? Instead of splitting uh, 6, 3, and then we can put this guy over there as well. Good. Once his morale's up there. Probably have to increase our spending a little. No, not the fleet. The army. And England is now bankrupt. Oh, England. No longer at war with Scotland. Still gonna get our dynasty on that throne. I don't need to know if a diplomat arrives, to be honest. Should get rid of that message. I'll remember next time, hopefully. But all of these guys hate me. So let's see if we can interact with our vassals here. Mm. They're already aggressive. Enable embargo rivals. Enable scootage? No. Support loyalists. Like hate loyal. Embargo might nah. It's not really useful. Yeah, I need to annex some of these guys because otherwise. Um, well, I won't be able to annex the Lithu uh, Livonian order for a while. And he doesn't have any claims. Lithuania does have claims on Crimea. Uh, but they haven't caught their lands yet, which is kind of worrying, actually. Mm. And these guys are allied to the Ottomans and Nogai. That, wow, that would be too tough to actually fight these guys. Even though we would have Naples and Bohemia support. Maybe we can get an alliance with Mamelukes. They're in the Persian Union on the Pasai. What? Oh, come on. Uh, so these guys have probably rivaled the Ottomans? They have. We could potentially ally them. Maybe even the Mamelukes. Let's still improve relations with them since I have spare diplomats. See what good comes of it. There might be something. Something. Okay, these guys don't particularly like us anymore. They're only defensive, I guess. Yeah, no more friendly. Sucks. Um. Uh. Right. Let's check this out. Mm, we could build cannons. How many troops do we have? What's our combat with? Seven. Plus the uh, 15? No, plus 10. So it's 17 is our combat with at the moment. So we could get potentially 17 cannons, but that's unlikely. Uh, and 33 is our max troop count, force limit. Hmm. Can build this for goods produced plus 60 70 even better and 61 so that's certainly helping out a lot um 60 as well 52 what 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 else what is being produced in these provinces oh cloth okay let's check that's trade. What is this? Trade goods. An excellent administrator. Karol Ferdinand has excelled in the field of administration. Under his rule, Poland has generally been very well governed. Uh, okay. Le lose a negative administrative trait, gain a positive trait, or have his admin skill increased. Okay, so he's currently lazy. What does that say? Mm, lazy. Production efficiency idea cost goes down, and our administrative efficiency. And now we even gain a point. He has zero points. He's going to get his first admin point. 
Nice. Very good. So he's not as terribly anymore. Uh, he's just a skilled negotiator, so that's good. Theologian. Okay, so he's actually not that bad anymore. But uh, he's gonna die soon, probably. Okay, can we do any uh, things here? Create a pri privy council, still can't do that. Maybe we can centralize. But we're gonna lose administrative efficiency for that, and that is what is kind of putting me off. I would love to centralize, but I don't know. It's just, it, it doesn't seem right if I lose admin efficiency for this. Doing so, you know? Ruler and dynasty has a king title, long rule, and we're decentralized. I see. Land ownership. Crown has 10%. Now, being, being poorly managed, admin efficiency will decrease the amount of lands. Hmm. Behind in tech. Each tech that we are behind. Oh, I see. Now I finally get this. Okay, so each point of tech we're behind. Oh, I see. So if we, we need to tech up, we need to stay ahead on technology. I totally get this. Alright, fine. I remember now, and we can now pick another ideal slot, and we're probably gonna go for which one? Expansion, that would give us core creation cost, a diplomat, uh, not a diplomat, a colonist, and that's what we want, we want to colonize over there. So yeah, I think we're gonna go for expansion, because we don't need diplomatic points anyway. Or we could go for exploration. exploration. Hmm... I don't know. Core creation cost, time to fabricate claims. National unrest. Colonial range. This is giving me two colonists. It's only gonna give me one, but a traitor. Faster colonists. Maximize subject taxes. Income from vassals goes up. Global trade power. Hmm. One of those. I'm gonna pick one of those. I haven't yet decided which one, but it's gonna be one of those. And no guy just declared war on Muscovy. Yeah, Muscovy is done. Yep, they're fighting everyone now. Crimea, Theodore, Trebizond, Sukasha. Yep, they're dead. And Twer declared reconquest on Muscovy. They're their ally. You've been your ally. And Inga will see. Actually, no, it's not seeding that much. They will give up all of their claims, release Cornwall and Meath, and pay money. And just give up Gascony. That's all they really had to do. They no longer have claims on this except one core here. Good good stuff. You could have done much more, I believe. I don't think England's that crippled. Especially since they're still allied to Sweden. Which is funny because didn't they fight Sweden in the war? I think they did. Where are you allied to, Sweden? England and Pomerania. Perhaps I'm wrong. I don't know. Uh, so this guy, yeah, doesn't like us too much. That's fine. At some point, we will be able to annex them. So which idea? Now that I have diplomatic, um, I could go for an admin idea, religious, potentially, especially if we take over all of this Sunni land. Mm, expansion. I just don't know. I think what we should do is be careful of army maintenance. We can put that down. And we just died. A new legacy. Okay, so August 2nd, Jagellon is now the king. Rulers have unique traits. Okay. Can change liberties. A lot of things happening. So let's see who's our next heir. We have dynastic claims against Naples. Okay, Grand Duke August rose to the throne. So let's see what we have. Let, let's actually get over this. So we are King of Poland. We do not have any traits, it seems like. Good administration. We've increased our administration. That's good. We're drunkard. Uh, the ruler can rarely be found within a drink. Okay, that's sad. Deceitful. The ruler is known to be dishonest and untrustworthy. Uh, those aren't really the best traits. Okay, so we have a Hmm. Kazimierz Jagellon, who 
doesn't have any skills. So two, three, two, and they have high liberty design now. Why? They don't like me. Okay. Improve relations then. And I can now declare war on Naples. Is that right? Let me see this. I have causes. Uh, dynastic claim against we have a strong claim on their lands and titles Pull me use this case declare war against Naples. I would love to do that I have a claim on Naples I should do this how do I get them to accept that can we declare war on Hungary ally to Austria and Denmark uh, okay so perhaps if I declare war on Denmark okay so let's fabricate a claim on this province right there so we can declare war on. So we can declare war on Denmark. That will bring in Hungary. We're gonna bring in Naples. Or if they decline, then we can just declare war on Naples, and they will break our lines. If that makes any sense. I want Naples. I want the throne of Naples, if possible. We've already been discovered up ten percent. That's unfortunate, and we can now institute against deliveries and maintenance. Gain a measure of control over the nobles by outlawing all unauthorized private armies employed by the nobles. A noble will be required to pay for a license in order to legally maintain affinities and private armies. Retainers. Uh, we can do that if we have more adrif- Okay. Lose admin. Increase centralization. Decrease noble- Yes, I think that would be a great idea to do. We can select the heir's education. And our heir needs to- uh, Gain a religious education. Oh, let him remain a court. Yeah. Make him remain a court. And uh, I think we do that. Let's just increase centralization. Let's see what comes of it. Um, adjust centralization. Must have low royal authority. And Moldavia just allied the Livonian order. So we should be able to do this now. Just centralization. We're gonna lose admin points and we will reduce our efficiency. Uh, we want to centralize even more. Let me check this. We can create a privy council. Oh, okay, so let's do that. Increase admin efficiency temporarily increases royal authority. All right, let's do that as well. Oh my god, so many things. Uh, country statistics. What is our low, low royal authority? And we have admin efficiency of 33. Low government corruption, government type, and we're drunkard. Centralization. Favoring professionals' policies. Alright, I'm done here. These subjects have high liberty desire. Why is that though? Revoke. They, they're pissed. But. That's probably our diplom trust. My our trust is not as good. This trust should be high though. Opinion is bad, and they have better diplomatic technology. Oh, fuck you guys. I have to improve our military here, otherwise our vassal Sears is weak. So yeah, we're gonna have the large mortar. We're gonna get this strategy archie cavalry. Have to reform our government here or our nation. Um, probably build up some more troops as well. 4,000. We still have the papal sanction of war. Mm. Yeah, let's get two more ca. Actually, let's get two artillery. Good. still have oh my god this is uh, so many things happening I don't even know what I have to do first uh, domestic I think uh, manage the Privy Council that was what I wanted to do okay so high chancellor um, we're gonna have him as personal advisor will become advisor that you can hire he will increase no we don't do that focus on domestic affairs increase admin efficiency Um, he will work to decrease the King's infamy no we're gonna do this increase admin efficiency yes we're gonna do that High chance is your professional member of the gentry. He will further increase your admin efficiency as long as he performs this task. Yes, do that. The Lord Steward 
uh, manage the crown lands. We we'll focus on uh, improved income they generate. Adequately managed lands will become excellent managed. Poorly will become adequately. Blah blah blah. Um, okay. Invest funds or court intrigue. No, I think we're gonna have them manage the crown lands because they're currently bad, poorly managed. So how much are we making right now? 9.6. Hopefully that increases our tax significantly. Anyways, I'm gonna have a look at all my Privy Council off camera and then I will uh, show you my decisions in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you then. Sufranka, signing off.